Have you ever asked yourself, when did that change? Visiting my favorite store, I located a style of jeans that I liked, entered the dressing room and commenced the try-on. As far as my preferred size, let me just say I'm usually in the husky section of the men's department. At mid-thigh, I sense trouble. However, dismissed the snugness as a result of sweet potato pie and continued on. It was then I noticed the tag said skinnies and immediately realized escaping the jeans would require body contortions like you see at Cirque de Soleil. The potential embarrassment of store security being called to the dressing room due to a wardrobe malfunction caused me to perspire as if I was going through a TSA full body pat down. After several minutes of struggling like Houdini in a straitjacket, the jeans released their death grip. I shouted, Lord Almighty, free at last, and heard, Amen, brother, from another dressing room occupant. Perhaps he was also a temporary captive of skinny jeans. This experience reminded me to expect change and not be surprised by it. The pace of change in our life and in our work is increasing constantly. What once was considered extraordinary seemingly becomes ordinary overnight. I've heard it said that if your business is exactly the same 10 years from now, you'll likely be out of business. Change is inevitable. Therefore, the question becomes, how can it work for us and not against us? In planning for the future, make sure you don't fall into the trap of assuming what made you successful presently will guarantee your success tomorrow. While you cannot predict the future, you can anticipate that the future is going to be quite a bit different than it is today. By letting go of the known and venturing into the unknown, you will find new possibilities. When we embrace this forward-thinking attitude, it enables us to convert change into opportunity. And to uh, all my husky hombres out there, stay away from the skinnies.